beautiful sunrise on the mighty quarantine river the river that borders Kayana and Surinam in the village of Oriala on the west bank of the quarantine river I'm standing here about one kilometer from our neighboring country Suriname to the east what a beautiful morning you can hear the birds chirping the songs of the boys who party all night last night <laughs> still lingering around you know life is amazing the view here is priceless we're heading into Siparuta today and maybe we're gonna go across to um, Suriname join me and let's go on another adventure celebrating yet another beautiful day here in sunshine Guyana <laughs> how life can get better than this indeed <laughs> we, 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 we in the barracks here, right we in the barracks yeah. oh shoot and look over here look. come in the light let me see what's going on how life can get better than this, eh, boy? <laughs> and y'all right, and we not going home till we see the sun. <laughs> nice, nice. That's how we sleep, man. We in the barracks. Good morning, good morning. All right. Oh, the fish. You got about bash today. All right. Yeah, yeah. Bring the fish from the table, eh, uncle. What you there? Yeah. So, Uncle Gabby, we fresh supply of fish here this morning. Morning, morning! Look at the chef there. Oh. <laughs> what are we cooking today? Fish and bread? <laughs> Put it up on the table there, man. Nice, nice. Hey. Beautiful as can be here, man. Real country style, country life. Beautiful, man. Uncle bring you fish there. You yeah, went to get this fish last night. Yeah, that way you, you see you want fish. Yes, yes. For sea. Oh yeah, you oh you went to get the fish? Yeah man. Nice, nice. Nice bash there, boy. Yeah man. Nice bash you get here. Yeah. That little friend man. <laughs> She's a little bit friendly and shy at the same time. Oh. Isn't that a beautiful sunrise? It's now 6.03. It's like I'm a toothbrush on my car yet. We gotta take a shower at the bottom there. This is where I showered the first night I came. Right on the landing here. But the water is kind of low right now, it receded. You know? Uncle said, I'll take a look and then you gotta try a thing. I'm gonna rod and come back just now. I know we buy fish, bro, Wendy. <laughs> or Andrea definitely we would have already been frying look at Nani uncle went and he um, set sea and he caught basho and kofum and the fish is reasonable cheap $500 for a basho for one fish and that's cheap down here if that fish was um, in Georgetown we would have paid double the price you know about a thousand dollars we would have paid for one but nonetheless you know the countryside life is um a little bit more reasonable to survive here because you know a lot of people already have jobs here they depend on farming fishing hunting boy look at that sunrise it's beautiful as as can be yeah buddy this place is nice man i mean i got a video of Aha! Uh -huh. What we got today? Fish and bread? Let me basha here. Basha, no one says kofum or tarpon. Make us a fried fish. Yeah, yeah, you make anything. Once fried fish come, you get bread too. Uh, yeah. Who want to bake a large bread? <laughs> bread to everybody who want to bake. Go on to bake. Everybody. Lovely, yeah. including me. <laughs> Them girls cleaning up there right now, you know. Alright. Breakfast momentarily. But I just can't stop enjoying the beauty here, boy. 
the landing came alive. You know, a lot of folks, people taking a dip there. Some folks at the end there getting a boat to go about the business. They got a Pakuri buys them. Taking a dip across here. Seems like a lot of fun. I, you know, I spoken to the Tushau here. And I, I told him and I show him, I give my, my opinion about, you know, the potential for tourism here. If they build it at the boardwalk here, you know, all the way to the other still in there, man. I make it a tourist destination, you know, with some banabs and things on top, some benches. People can come here and sit and look at the sunrise on the right to the east, that's Suriname right there. Or you could also look the sunset in the west, that's Guyana. We have an island in the middle of the river here. And what I was told, the river belongs to Suriname. The water from the land go back that way is Guyana's. I was told by the residents here. Now, Suriname, ask your man, please give you a hundred feet of the river now so we can drive your boat. <laughs> you know, just give you a hundred feet so that we, we can drive your boats in Guyana water. But nonetheless, you know, it is what it is. You can't change the maritime law or the, um, the boundaries, whatever. I don't know how it works. A minute ago, I mentioned this place has potential for tourism. And look, we have some tourists here, man. Not sure if they're from Suriname or if they're Guyanese, but um, you see, they're having, they're having uh, a tour guide and they're having some folks here. I mean, a boatload of folks that came here for tours. It's beautiful here, man. I think this duck needs to be curried, you know. Are you bonjour or stewy? <laughs> look, we chef here. Don't you think? Fry fish. This bachelor is swimming in the in, in the Quarantine River last night up to this morning. Now in the Karahi. And we neighbor across there cooking up a storm too, you know man. Hey look at that my friend. Bacon, fry fish, can't get better. Yeah, my neighbor cooking up a storm there. When you're cooking, you're cooking. And when you're drinking, you're drinking. Now by Parsi, cheers boy. Life can't get better than this here, boy. Barbecue. On the grill, you're grilling, you're grilling, boy. Hey, the party warm up, boy. Them, them boys warm up here right now. People doing the thing, you know. Cricket over here, them boys watching cricket. And of course, you're doing some barbecue there. Let's let us back in a thing. We about to head into Sepuruta. utensils and stuff right here man you get water from this river to cook it's sweet water you know it's fresh water then <laughs> so, one of my right now taxi come here but only can carry one passenger i gotta get one more taxi to carry the other passengers two we gotta go in all right so hey we continue to vibe continue to celebrate all right Fun time here man, this is beautiful. This is Sunday morning in the Quarantine River. Awesome. The good life. This is the good life. We on the road again. You want me to walk up the hill? No, no. The bike to make it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Church. 
Dat is de village. Je heel dag. We heren into Siparuta. The Festa village of Oriala. We got a 11, no 12 minutes journey, right? Pilot? Yeah, yeah. 12 minutes journey. Hello! So I'm giving you all a brief tour of the village. This is Oriala village. Yeah. Heading into Siparuta. Them chop like a last behind you. When you see the coming, we gotta stop and wait for them. Go 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 go! Hello! Good morning my friend. Oh that that might be behind. <laughs> Let's go. Watch out, Uncle. We got a nice cassava tree here. Yeah. And a watermelon. What do people do in this village here mainly? Most uh, do lumbering. You know? Lumbering, logging and lumbering, yeah. okay. Now, some people do farming and fishing as well, yeah. but a small amount. Yeah, a small amount. Okay, okay. Hunting, farming, fishing, but mainly it's logging. Yeah. Okay, would, you know, would, would work. No mining going on here. No, no. Oh, this is secondary school? Yeah, there's a mighty bars in here. I see that, right? Oh, is it bars? Should we pass here? Yeah. Morning, morning. So we're going to show Savannah here. We're going to the back. We're going to the back, sir? Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, that's the bar. I feel we pass him right here now. Yeah. This is my first motorbike ride in probably 15 years. Okay. Yep. Yeah, buddy, what's up? <laughs> Uncle got into the football game, sir. Yeah. We are a primary school and this is secondary or primary too? Uh, Alto. Alto primary and secondary. Yeah. Okay. 99.9 FM, Radio Orialo. Nice. Yesterday I walked through here yeah. and I come to the ball field. Watch out there before we cool you know. <laughs> watch out there, watch out there. And then look at taxi there. Taxi! <laughs> Manga taxi there, right? Nice. Beep beep. <laughs> That's a human horn. <laughs> Back road. Oh yeah, can go through here. Yeah, go front road. So we got the semi-final happening there right now. Yeah. Bakuri get knocked out yesterday. Really come, let me go by. Where are we driving? Yeah, let's do this track here. Yeah. Alright. So we're leaving Orialo. This is, this is the hill. Stop. We got some tourists here, boy. Yeah. What's going on, fellas? Uh, You're from New York, or what? Yeah. <laughs> Can't be New York, boy. How does my accent come from the roadside? Oh, that's not fast. Suriname? Yeah. Oh, that's not Suriname. Alright, so we're going through the trail, you know. This is how simple the Amerindian people live, you know. They live on the land, they farm, they fish, they hunt. They rear some chicken. This place got a lot of rooster, boy. Early morning, they're crewing. Here is just bush now you're gonna see. Yeah. On both sides. Trees, yeah. forest, alright. Alright. So 
the journey continues. Wait, you'll see the river in the front there. We got, we're going down a hill. No, oh, the river is going back that way. That way, okay. Yeah. But at least from down here, we can see a piece of the river there. Yeah. Head there, that's the river there. The current the river showing there. Nice, nice, nice. This is the trail now. Yeah. So, if I hear you, I'm gonna see no more house. Oh. No houses, all right. Gotcha. You got creek here by Blackwater. What fish are there? Awesome. Yeah, Lokanani? Yeah. Lokanani, like. Fish, bro? You coming back here by Siparuta and Lokanani? All right. And Basho. This is halfway point, the creek is in halfway point separate the two villages, Sibruta from Orialo. This is a busy road, you know, a lot of motorbikes. We're going down a little hill here, here comes the rain. You know, and I really take a time when the road wet, especially on this kind of road. With a little pebble. So oh yeah, wood working right. And look, only water front right there, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh, they come back. Oh, that is, come on the front there. All right, all right, you coming there? You coming there, right? Nice. Watch your bike, your bike shot up right then. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Don't be fine up there, bro. We're safely, but we landed safely. Welcome to Siparuta. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Watch your bike, Marshall. Watch. You can get a Hollywood actor award. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, buddy. You can get her. You can get her. Uncle, how you do? I know. Hey, one hey, fellas. <laughs> Nice, nice. So, beautiful as can be, by the man, one and only. <laughs> man, pose out there, Stanley and Kiss. Yeah, man. And I'm black water, they never had like that, boy. <laughs> Trust me, I is a man who's in Johnny Waco. <laughs> that ain't no Johnny Waco. I am out, I am out for this, though. <laughs> All right, so, fun time, man. I'm finally here in Siparuta. Man, and. We are about, look, the river is right across there. And Suriname, that's Suriname I show over on the other side there? Yeah. We can swim across to Suriname. <laughs> look how close Suriname is, boy. The, the bushes on the, other, on the other side there. Nice, nice, man. What are you doing now, boy? Good. Oh, you'll be walking on? No, we don't go. At the front there, good. Morning, morning, folks. Morning, how y'all doing? The gas, Chandra. I have an Hi, how are you doing, Gloria? Rhonda. Oh gosh. Okay, Rhonda. <laughs> hey, we're supposed to get duck curry today. We gotta go. Do some, we gotta ask some for some yeah, girl yeah, today, right? Eat, All right. We got duck curry for you today. We gotta ask some for girl. From Suriname. Uh, from Suriname. Look at the oh, look at the view here, boy. Wow. Nash, you want to leave Pakuri and come here? Nash, you want to migrate? Yeah, the second house. Get a second house here, boy. Not a second wife, a second oh, house. house yeah. Alright, just check in. Just check in. Alright. This is amazing, buddy. Yeah. Simply amazing. Life can't get better than this. Trust me. Now, my uncle come across a whole morning from Apura. You hear me come? 
Well, here we are here, you wait for me, whole morning. How are you doing, man? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Well, we are coming across now. We're going across. We are going across. By you now. No, me now. The sun will go. Oh, the sun is. Oh, yeah. what are you doing, everybody? Yeah, me there. Alright. So, he go ride right there out quick, quick. And come back. Mm -hmm. Alright. We right. want to go, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Me really happy you watch the watch the show, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, All I right. Always watch the show, man. No problem, man. Appreciate. it. But well, now you gonna see yourself in the show. Okay, okay. okay. All right. All them by Stanley. Stanley, everybody, you gonna see the show. You see the whole village, everything yeah, now. Everything. <laughs> so yeah, George, Stone girls and city girls. Look how the girls in Cipruta traveling. You see the taxi on tractor and baby in the hand too. That's the minibus. Is that the minibus here? We are down by the landing. All right, we just came down the hill. It's trouble to go up back that hill. We got put TV four wheel drive. Put that four wheel drive, boy. Nice. We by the waterfront, you know, or the land, didn't they call it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is my here ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, you got that little store here, man. Sell yeah. engine and so like. Nah. Oh, no, that's selling. Nah, it's the only supermarket. The only supermarket, though, hey. Oh, nice, nice, nice. In the whole area of Supruta, only supermarket. Coconuts. Got e networks here, but you got internet here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cipruta Primary School. Nice. Is that the land in there? Right here we got probably. Huh? Oh, Bafi to this side? Yeah, you So we heading down to the um, ball field right now. Show you all going on. Okay. 99.1 FM, I guess the Oriala Radio Man, right? Radio Nong, so. So give me a little tour where they land in here now. The waterfront in Cipruta. This, this is the village here anyway. Yeah, the Cipruta village. Yeah. Wow, that's a big boat here, right? Yeah. No voice window and stuff on the boat. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah, man. Where you? Yeah, buddy. Right. What fish do I catch in the river? Then? I'll fish, I'll fish. I'll fish, I'll fish. 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 i will I saved it down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you could have cut down them tree there by and get a nice ocean view there. Oh, yeah, well, Watching the morning sunrise. Well, middle, middle land there, up on the hill there. Uh -huh. Oh, you can see it. If you go from top there, you see the whole view nice. Nice there. Eh? Okay, okay, lovely, lovely. Yeah. That yeah. little bar there, boy. Yeah, the bar. Bar yeah. feeling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, I can see the bar. Super Football, so football the main thing here? Eh? Yeah, football and cricket. Cricket, lovely, yeah. lovely. Volleyball though? Yeah, volleyball. Yeah. Alright. See, you see what I got here, you know. Yeah. And the hill there right over top yeah. there. This one road can pay for catch the Oriola road again and go way back to Oriola. Yeah, back to Oriola. Yeah. Sure. We have sent to the right over there. The blue building there or? No, so this is the, um, the ICT hub. ICT hub, the internet, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, and then other building is the yeah, uh, cream building. But yeah, you could go wrong, the, road, the main road there, right? Go wrong, so, oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. No problem. Yeah. All right, so this is a little tour here of yeah. the Oriya, the Cipruta, sorry, Cipruta yeah. um, Center Ground. Yeah. Well, this is evidence. In Sibruta, the center ground. <laughs> so we back to the land in here. And oh, from the front? Yes. Oh, yeah, so we down here now. We're gonna join the boat to go across to um, 
Apura. Wow, look at this. Welcome to Separuta Village. Wow, beautiful man. Life is simply amazing. I feel the breeze here, but I realize it's cool. Got to have fish here, you know. Trust me. Now, that point, Stanley told me was you go around that point there, you make a left. That's Oriala Village. Okay? Now, we're going to Aporo, which means we got to go this way. We make a left around the turn. We got to come back all the way here and then go around back to catch where we're going. All right? That's how the river runs. But this is the landing here at Sipa Ruta Village. The place is nice, man. They have internet, you have um, e network Wi Fi here. You know, couldn't get better. GTNT have their cell phone um, service here. My phone works. So, this is a place you need to put on your bucket list. Only thing I'll recommend that they have a ferry service like on a daily base or three days a week a schedule um ferry that can bring you in morning and take you out afternoon you know so tourists can come in enjoy the um villages and head back out because to hire a boat it's very costly if we have a ferry service they have boats that come in and out but not on a regular base all right but if you have a ferry service a schedule a schedule ferry service or boat service that come in leaving barbies quarantine at maybe 7 a.m. you're getting here you know a little faster boat that could take a two three hours because that six hour journey is very very painful it's very long tiring all right so if you get a boat that can do it in two hours or maybe hour and a half and you charge you know a couple of thousand dollars you know maybe twenty dollar US per person or, or twenty five dollars return you know make it a service and you have a schedule um, run so that you can bring people in and take them out in one day you're leaving 7 a.m and you're leaving back here about 4 p.m or so to go back out i, I think a lot of tourists are gonna come in to explore these two beautiful villages Sepiruta and oriala i mean i love it it's amazing but for me to bring my family here now it's gonna cost me at least the, the the passage the the cost for uh, fuel and the boat like 500 us then food entertainment another 500 us so you got to put a set of thousand dollars if you want to come on a trip like this you know but you could also come on a trip walk with your food walk with your lunch your water your snacks and then you pay the boat i think you might get a boat at least for the minimum of 400 us and then you got to drive from georgetown to barbies and back another hundred dollars so yeah, five hundred dollars minimum if you walk with your own food and your own everything. But who want to take sand to the beach? Stanley, you ever carry sand to the beach? You don't take sand to the beach. You go to the beach for the sand, for the white sand. You understand? <laughs> All right. So hey, the journey continues. The adventure continues. Now look how pineapple grow on the roadside. Look at that. This is the road, we, we, the trail, and pineapple growing on the road, kind of. So we can come back here next two months and pick. Wow. It might not be here. <laughs> We're taking a, a foot stroll. Are you born in calories, you know? Yeah, yeah, wow. Born in calories. All right. The power we are born out there. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. So we taking a walk through the village, man, in Siparuta. You know, we got, we got, we got a line, you know. You have a little kissing bridge coming up there. What? This one of the captain. One of the captain here? Yeah, captain Joel? Well. Captain Big Seat. <laughs> we gotta ask some for Gyal, but hey, we gotta fix the wedding. Oh, wedding, you see here? Back in the days, y'all Guyanese, y'all know this, right? We boys, young man days. Right All we boys used to go and ask some for girls, right? You guys remember those days? Drop it in the comment if you remember you and your friend or your friends went and asked home for girl. <laughs> you ever tried that? You ever did that? Yeah. Ask home for girl? Yeah. Y'all get through? But if you get talking on twice. Yeah. So y'all get discouraged. Yeah. Discouraged, yeah. Now by we used to get duck curry and think chicken curry and stuff by we used to be well <laughs> accepted by. Lucky yeah buddy. <laughs> and once there's a man with good influence. <laughs> You got good treatment. Well, we're going for a, a, another one, right? Yeah, we're going for Axum right now. Well, 
Man, no, who will get married here? But somebody. Oh, they said the creek there. No, the one creek around. Run all the way here. Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. Different landing. So somebody getting married in in in, in Ciparuta. All right. I see a man with a black shirt putting the finger up. I don't know if you get the answer. Oh, you, I figure you know the answer to who is getting married. All right, buddy. Hey, fun time here in the village, man. Now look at the smile on this man's face. <laughs> look at the smiles. So, which means you know what happened there? Yeah, guess what happened? Based on the smile on the man's face, yeah, guess what happened? <laughs> it's a yes. Everything's settled. We don't ask him. Girl say yes. Girl father say yes. Wedding coming up soon. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. You happy? Yeah, man. Alright, lovely, lovely. So, we made a good deal, yeah, buddy. We made a good deal. Eh? So we just finished Axon Home. We spoke Axon means to go, you know, the, the by parents or either the girl parents talk to the by parents or the by parents come and talk to the girl parents. In this case, the by parent, the father, and me, we went and we talked to the girl parents and everything went well. It's like yes. Couldn't get better than this. Alright? Now finally we're going to Aporo. Finally. Yeah. And when the man said, we tell him, man, when we come back from Apuru, we're going to ask him, right? Yeah. The man said, nah, bye. nah, nah, me taking that chance before somebody else going to ask him. Let me go now. You're right, but you're right. The love is strong. We are on the I river bank here, buddy. Lovely yeah, breeze, yeah. He said, let's bring the boat. The logs, them. Load the water. Load them. Oh, to go out to um, Springland there? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, he had to load him back. Hello. Wow, this is beautiful here, man. You don't need air condition here, you know. Damn, with a breeze, you don't need air condition. Oh, look at the view here, boy. Ooh, simply amazing. Nice, nice. Fresh air. Oh, yeah, gas. So see, I thought it's a property. You can't really invest here, boy. <laughs> so we got the landing here right now. So one boat down there ready. Oh, this wee boat here? Lovely, lovely. Same cut boards. Yeah, go in. Board. Man aboard. <laughs> Man aboard. What are you crying for? Can you far go with first boat? <laughs> the young man crying for you far there. Alright, nice time now. We in the water. Finally, we're heading across to Apura, Suriname. Across there, you have the sand pit or the sand mine. You know, this way they get sand from the people in Barbies, they will get sand through the river here. Through the Quarantine River, a lot of white sand going out for construction. Washabu. All 
right? And what is next village Stanley after Washabo? Section. Section. Then Apura. Then Apura. Good. Section is still in the bay. Okay, and Apura is way down that side. Okay, okay. So Washabo over there. Yeah. So Washabo, right? So I'm going to take the road now and go in. Uh, yeah, then you got, yeah, then by the road. So the vehicle come here, we get a, we get a vehicle to take us. Rather than go by boat, yeah. all the way that side. We go, we go yeah, we save gas and time. By coming in. I see the bamboo tree. Help hold the soil together and the mokko mokko, I guess. But nobody bamboo tree though. See all the big tree, a lot of vines, a lot of roots. Imagine sitting down here watching the sunset, boy. Imagine, boy, imagine watching the sunset from here. There's a big mango tree here and thing has. And look, you can see right away across this one side, you see vehicles. So far in Oriala, I saw one 4x4, four four, one pickup, and two tractors. As soon as we come to Suriname side, look. road and vehicles. I hope the bridge Oriala with. Georgetown or Kokwani sooner than later. We need to act more fast, man. Be proactive, you know. Don't wait for years to get things done that could be done urgent, you know. We need to bridge over here, man, to bring in tourism. This here, yeah, I know this one. Hold on, let me ask them to worry. Them two man, Pakuri. Uh, what do you think this thing here for? Now you take it. What do you think that for? Greens though. <laughs> that's a garbage, that's a garbage, the rest of the garbage. Yeah. Where the garbage truck come, right? True or false? No. Hey uncle? Yeah, that's true. Garbage, so we're not gonna know for this thing. Make this thing here, we'll uh -huh. put your garbage. So. You understand? <laughs> Look. For an RV truck. Which side you uh, reach in fire? This side. This side. This side, yeah. Maybe just come from that side, the road ends. So. Yeah, the road ends, that's it, yeah. Right. So we still going south here all the time. That's north. Back to the north. Right. We're walking in um, Suriname right now. See, Suriname number plate there. To all my Suriname fans, I'm in Suriname right now. Sorry, I can't come down to Paramaribo or Nikiri, but we're there through the river. Some good day we can come down. My family and I, we're gonna drive, and Team ARD, we're gonna drive all the way to Paramaribo, all the way to Albino. And, and go and even come across to St. Laurent too, in French Guyana. Don't worry. We drove all the way already, you know, my wife and I and my children. We drove all the way already and Miss Rashid to French Guyana. Alright. Oh, this Uncle Data live here. That's nice. Gotta show you guys this. This is how they take out quarry. Look at that. That's the barge. Yeah. See the big rocks? I told you earlier on the video. They're taking the rocks when they blast it. And that's gonna go to the mill. Or the grinder. This is right to the first village. First, first village out there, right? And they grind that right. to make stone. Of course, sometimes they leave it that big for a seawall to see defense purpose, you know? So you get a certain arm flag flying proudly there on the, on the barge. So you all get to first hand look to see how the, how the rocks are being transported. And those of you who are doing construction, this is where the rock come from, up the Quarantine River. So we're learning more and more. For those of you who may want to know if you're living on the Guyana bank of the Quarantine River and you want to visit the Eastern Bank, the Suriname Bank of the Quarantine River, you can do so without a passport or vice versa. If you're, if you're living on the Suriname Bank of the river, you can go across to the Guyana Bank without a passport. However, you must check in with the village chief or the Tushau or the committee member. All right, so we are about to go check in with the Toshao or the chief of this village here, Washabu. 
let them know of our presence. Yeah, so we're on a road tour right now. Look at my Zeddy back there, man. See what I'm going on Alright, have you nice to see the first time you leave Guyana? Yeah, first time. Oh, first time you leave Guyana? Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, oh, give me a hand, give me a hand. No, this one. Hip hip! Hooray! <laughs> first time you leave Guyana, man. <laughs> yeah, man, this is this we, we tour guide here, man. How you doing, man? I'm fine. Alright, brother. So we drive in through to. We gotta see the, the, the village chief and then to Apuro. Apura. We now enter into the section area, the, the village that named section. And look at look how beautiful this area is, man. Everybody have their vehicle. Unlike the west bank of, of, of the Quarantine River, the Guyana side, there's no roads, there's no cars. So we really need to up the game and build roads to bridge the Amerindian communities, man. We need roads so that you know the folks can be mobilized, you know. That is good. Shop here to get some. The place is hot. We need to get something cool. <laughs> Very hot, yeah. Maybe it's lag for that. Yeah, man. Parable. Wait, wait, wait. Parable, what am I say? Parable, baby. I don't want anything to see it, right? Oh. <laughs> 15, baby. You know, that's the only thing I'm going to call it in, in, in Dutch. 15, 15, uh, 15 right? <laughs> 15. <laughs> and 20. Three. And 23, yeah. 15. <laughs> yes, Alright, I know a thing or two, you know. Pawaka! Hello, Sambo? You know that one? Yeah, I know that one, yeah. Uh, uh, Parbo, Beri. Ten. Ten? Yeah, yes, ten, yes. How much? Sixty. One small part of Two. Repeat. Cheers to Sarnau. Cheers to Sarnau. Cheers to Sarnau. Cheers to you too? Lovely, lovely. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to that. <laughs> Since we got aisle, right? Guyana dollar got strength. Now we can use Guyana money to pay in Suriname. Look at this. <laughs> 3,000 how much? 3,000. Guyana money. 1, 2, 3,000. All right. And we get 3,500. We give tips. Thank you. No change. No change. So Guyana money can be spent here in Suriname. Of course, Gilda can be spent in our Suriname dollars, SRD. Can be spent in Guyana as well, right? Life couldn't get better than that. So who said Guyana money not get value? You got value here in Suriname. Cheers. Yeah, everything. Cheers. Cheers to that brother. Cheers. Hey, cheers, boy. To another country. Yeah. Can't get better. Hip hip! Hooray! First time in two months to leave Guyana. First time. We made a stop here at the captain to let him know, inform him of our presence. Danny, yeah. The guy who washed was bad job, man. <laughs> oh, no, they're not washing, they're not washing. So I want you all to come very close to this truck. This is the closest we can get, get to it in Guyana. So, all right, we can't afford one in our country. The duty is like about 60,000 US is the duty, the taxes, from 60,000 to 100,000. So all we can do right now is I'll come down it. here and you know, <laughs> yeah, why? and we can wish that our country can lower the taxes on the, ju the duty on these vehicles, that we can make it affordable for poor people like we to own one. Yeah. All right? So yeah, I'll smile, I'll take a picture with it. <laughs> smile, smile next to the vehicle, right? So there's the, the village chief here. So we come to let him know of our presence. <laughs> yeah. So, man, you know what I like with this place? Like, all over you go, you see chicken and you see um, ducks. All right, and this nice gentleman is actually touring us around with you know with his minivan, his if son. All right, beautiful as can be. Go off a tree and thing in the yard there, boy. Hey, beautiful man. So the people here are very hospitable. Can't complain. Very hospitable. The journey continue, the goodness continue. We're still going to Apura. Bread, delicious. So we got a, a delicious bread there and a full basket there. We're gonna snack it in a bakery there, boy. Wow. It's Apura? Yes. So yeah, he said, welcome to Apura. And a fancy Washabo, word there. Eh? Oh, Washabo forgot the other side. Apura forgot this side. Okay, and this is what hospital or police?
police. This is not Sergeant. Yeah. Sergeant, Sergeant. Oh, soldier. Soldier, yes. yeah. Oh, we have the, the military base down here, soldier. That's not it is strong. This is the um, like how we got GPL. GPL, oh, the electric power company. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so by Tali. By Tali, yeah, it's a resort. By, yeah. Tali, by Tali is a resort. No, a company. Company, a company for. for uh, oh, by Tali. Yeah. stay. Pip sleep. Okay. Truck so man, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I look at guy and I come. It's a truck, truck here. Okay. We we are such a four four door pick up and then I start a truck. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday truck. truck, man. My obsession is truck. We obsession is four door pick up. <laughs> what is what is this over here now? What? Sawmill. Sawmill. Green hair, okay. Nice, nice. Sawmill. They got both, both. They got both. Two thousand people. What? Wow, before, huh? Hundred people walking green hat group here. You walk you walking yes. before. A lot of people used to walk. No no oh. uh, today before tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow you are, oh you are working here. Yes. Oh you're currently working here. This is our green hat group. Wow. What I love for here. They have roads you can yes, drive. Asphalt, man. Asphalt, no. yeah. Before, oh my god. Okay. Before. Man, how nice. No nice, yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's stone. This is quarry. This is Baitali. Baitali, yeah. Baitali. They crush a the stone. Yes. Okay, okay. So you can buy your stone here, you know, crush stone. Oh, we load it. Asphalt fabric. Asphalt, okay. Yeah. And look, lumber here, but it's green heart. No, no, no. A different one? This is Odiud. Odiud? Yeah. Okay. Look, Lagsay, boy. Oh, wow. It's popular. It's here, Kawadu. Kawadu? Yeah. Okay. In front of Makakabis. Makakabis? Yeah. Moi, 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 moi. I think it's like... Hey, we can make a boat with this. <laughs> Dig out, make a dog out. <laughs> the, the boat, the boat. Aye, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Nice, make a boat, yeah. Nice, shall I buy the piece and make a boat? Yeah. This was the train they used to bring stone up. Oh yeah, we got a lot of train here, look at this. Actually, you never get to see a train again. Yeah. Finally, you get to see a train, eh? Yep. I got the barge there, I think. Mm -hmm. That was that bring out the wood? Yes. Wood, okay. Yes, sir. Beautiful, eh? Yes. The train, they come out. Oh, shoot. Malaysia country okay nice good to see you man yeah. all right what what part of Malaysia you live uh, Sarawak Sarawak yeah. okay man me India India, India yes India man oh Mati Mati Mati, Mati, Mati. Mati. <laughs> hey my friend how are you doing good. My, my parents from Uttar Pradesh oh. where from India are you from Calcutta, yes. Oh, nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you guys. Take care. All right, All right. All right. bye. My friend, my, my Mati. Same country? Mati, yeah. Same country, yeah. From Calcutta, yeah. Many people. Brazil. Brazil, oh yeah. Yeah, uh, Philippines. Philippines and oh, uh, Japanese, Ch Japanese, Ch Chinese, Ch Chinese. Yeah. Suriname is another America. You have nations. All different nations are here, man. Yes. Brazilians, Guyanese, Guyanese. Indians, uh, probably um, you got the Japanese, yeah, you got Chinese, <laughs> you got the Amerindians. <laughs> 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 you know, a lot of folks are here for real, man. When you go Parmarbo, you see a lot of folks. Yes. Yeah. 
in Fire Marble. Different, different people here from around the world. So we are the quarry sighting. Nice. By Tali. Big company. Finally, we are at the junction here that says. I finally made it out of Guyana. <laughs> finally made it out of Guyana. You made the right choice. After 23 years. Years, you made the right choice today. By coming with Team ARD instead of Team Pakuri. <laughs> Alright? Nash! Did you make the right choice today? To, to, to join Team ARD instead of Team Pakuri? <laughs> Alright. It's adventure. You, you gain with ARD but you lose with um, Pakuri. <laughs> <laughs> so that way is to Washabu. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna end this video here because I don't wanna make a too long video. I'm gonna start a new video from Apura. All right, then by is having a picturesque moment here. So I hope you guys enjoy the tour, you know, the sunrise with me this morning. The tour to Separuta and the tour in the river all the way to Washabo and to the junction here to Apura. I want to thank you for the privilege of your time. Hope you're staying safe and positive. Thank you. God bless you. Peace out. And I will see you over in Apura. We gone.